You want to see how far I'm going to wheelie? Yeah, let's see. Oh my. <laughs> Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. This has been way, way too long, apparently. I get comments every single day asking where the scooter videos are. And today, we're putting a stop to that. We're coming back with a scooter video after like six months with no scooters on anything. There's nothing wrong with mine at all. It's just out of gas and it has a flat tire. Daniel's over there working on Scoot Whore right now. We haven't touched these scooters in so long and we randomly decided that we're gonna like pull them out, get them running again. I haven't done a wheelie on mine in so long. I'm probably gonna end up taking mine apart just to clean it all up and get it all uh, refreshed up because like if you could see like plastics are just hanging off like this whole front thing's pretty like broken in pieces and stuff. So basically this is his scooter now and he just needs to get it running. It has a 100cc big board kit in it already but it hasn't been started in like forever. Last time he was here we spent like 60 hours on this thing trying to start it and he just almost got it running in 10 minutes. Other than it being dirty as hell, mine's pretty uh, pretty dialed still. Just needs to be cleaned up. I have Mop Boys t-shirts now in the description below. Um, click the link. There's Mop Boys. I don't even have one to display right here, but there's one on the screen. They're sweet. Grab Mop Boys. I don't have any more stickers right now. And in like 20 seconds, it's all taken apart. So now I'm able to see everything. I almost forgot I had underglow hooked up on this thing. And it's still, the battery's still good after sitting. All right, so a little's been said. What is that? Yo, is that my knife? <laughs> Yo, that's my <laughs> knife. Yeah, I was playing with it earlier. I forgot I had it. All right, we have like a five day countdown until the big ROM ride, scooter ride. Going on in Las Vegas. I went to it last year. It's like a, a Vegas mini moto takeover. Um, you need to watch last year's video if you want to check that out. We had like 200 groms on the strip, and it was crazy. We were doing wheelies on the strip. Well, that's this weekend, and um, this is Daniel's current ride that he's been riding this weekend. Yo, what is that? What in the? Yo, dude, I did not know that you did that. Yeah, I was kickstarting it. It didn't start. I was going because we just got a new motor in. Shout out fucking Derek, the UPS guy. What was his name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's Derek. Scared of dogs, like yeah, Derek's that. scared of dogs. Yeah, Derek's scared of dogs. That's it right there. <laughs> Thank you. What's your first name? Daniel. You got it. Have a good day. Awesome, dude. Thanks so much. You think they really got five kilos in this? Thanks, Carlos. <laughs> Yo, you fucking got it, bro. Yo! It's his fear of dogs, dude. He dropped off the 150, so now we're gonna swap that in. And we got a five day swap. He's taking everything apart, cut up the whole frame, getting this motor swap ready so we can get it done ASAP. Just went through, I cleaned up mine, and now I'm grinding off this. But you don't want to polish it like this. So I'm going through and I added some new switches that I bought for my um, lights. So yeah, that one. And then this switch right here is for my underglow. So now I'm going to have these two switches side by side um, mounted up. And it's going to be sweet. That's going to look clean. For now, I'm gonna clean up my plastic, throw my plastics back on, and then we'll catch up and see what Daniel's working on. I think he's gonna get his motor pretty much ready to mount tonight so we can just get gas for the welder, weld that thing in ASAP, get ready to go, do some wheelies. He'll also need to add a 12 bar. If you guys wanna follow along with what he's doing to his scooter, make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel in the link below because you guys can check him out while he's doing all his stuff over here. We got the scooters taking all apart, we got Daniel's E30 taking all apart, bug and all these guts next to it. The E36 completely stripped. Daniel's moped back here completely stripped. It's like insane workshop back here. It's crazy. This just came out way better than I was expecting. This thing's all shiny clean now. I even got the switches down in here. Can't really see it right now. This one right here, that's the headlight. And then underneath that, underglow. 
I like how they're like hidden in here too. Cutting the motor mount currently. Chopping the old Why stock one up. You have like no vice or anything. No, I feel. I literally, the first time I just cut it, I even hold that. Do you hear that? You know what the sound of that is? That's fucking victory, baby. The fucking mob is back, dude. We've had. Let me hold on. Let me let me just explain. Look at this thing, though. Let me just explain what just happened. It's different on this motor, so I can't show you. But basically, your Kickstarter goes in and the 150, and there's a little bushing inside there. Well, after taking my side case off last night and trying to put it on, having the biggest pain in the ass, Daniel was up till three in the morning trying to help me put this thing on. After pulling it all apart, he realized that the bushing was actually snapped in half. So I went today to a moped shop. Shout out to moped shop. I forgot the name of it, but they're super cool. And I got a bushing for the inside of the 150 motor. Put it on. This thing is the biggest pain in the ass. I didn't even get to finish polishing the side cover because I was so pissed that it broke that I was so worried I wasn't gonna be able to make it to the ride this weekend. But I got like half of it polished. Got it all back together though, so I'm not touching it right now. The side case is the biggest pain in the ass to get on. Long story short, got it on, got everything put back together, got my switches done, the thing's cleaned. Um, all it needs now is to put my bead back on my tire. Once I get air in that back tire, I'm good to go. So I'm not gonna touch mine right now, I'm gonna help Daniel with his, get his figured out. He just got his 150 right here. He got everything off this frame, so now it's just time to get all the mounting ready. Here's the original, um, stock motor mounts for the 50 that are usually along that bar right there you cut them off and then you weld them to your own bar the bar will run across right here boom and that's because this motor is a top mount motor and the other one right here usually mounts from way here on the bottom that's the only thing you have to do for this 150 swap no one understands that when i describe how easy it is it's literally all about the motor mount and then once you get the motor mount done everything's pretty much plug and play all right so i just got an air hose getting it all hooked up I have my air compressor out back right now on the porch because I just didn't hook it up anywhere inside, so run it through the window. But I'm just gonna pop this bead back on and then my scooter's ready. I just gotta go get gas in it. I haven't rode this thing in so long, it feels so weird. We back in action, baby. The moped is back in action, baby. We just pulled this frame in here because we need to take this fork, tube off, and everything so we can get that front wheel and put it on this scooter since um, the front wheel we have, we stole off that scooter. It doesn't really fit on these forks and we don't want to put a spacer and uh, make it all sketch. And this one doesn't have a brake anyways. So we're just gonna swap the whole fork over, put it in this frame, weld. We need to get welding gas tomorrow so we can weld all this in and then do his 150cc swap. Today we just went to Home Depot and we picked up the spacer that just goes inside here before your wheel. Um, you could just change that axle out to the short axle that's in the 50cc motor and do the swap out. But um, the 150 GY6 come with the longer axle. We don't feel like going in the transmission, doing all that swap out and everything like that and uh, possibly miss the ride this weekend. So we're just gonna put a spacer on it, and then, um... You wanna see how far I'm gonna wheelie? Really? Yeah, let's see. Oh my god! I knew it was coming, so that's why I didn't want to look. That thing hurt? No. It touched my toe. Oh, dude, you're so strong, dude. I, was, I knew it was about to come. So yeah, you had, like, ninja-like reflexes. Yeah, no, I just felt it. You yeah, like yeah, you're like sensei. Yeah. No, you have really like Thank you. What do you <laughs> Alright, later man. This is um, this is just a major chop shop right now, and it's kind of a rust chop shop. But we're gonna get this 150, and we're gonna get it ASAP. We're gonna be doing wheelies. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Go buy a Mop Boys T-shirt down below. Support the build. Support the 150. Support the scooters. See you in the next one.
like skaters. <laughs>